Hey guys, I'm meteorologist Chris Tomer. Let's talk some mountain weather here. And looking at the atmospheric river, now looks like it's going to run through 1.8 and maybe even 1.9 with feet of additional snow across the west. Some interesting trends though with the second period. Once we get into about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, um, the storms that hit the west coast are looking a little weaker as they reach Utah. So some of the totals there in Utah have gone down for the second period. Um, but we'll look at all that. Let me just show you the uh, infrared satellite this morning. I'm still looking at a very rich flow, strong jet coming off the Pacific with areas of low pressure lined up and uh, scooping up and entraining that extra water vapor to juice these storms up once they uh, reach the West Coast. Uh, I did write about it this morning on my blog, chrystomer.com. Snow forecast through 1.8. Looked at the setup. Looked at the pattern as well. Let me just show you what this looks like here. So this is 1.8. And so the powerful Jet West East continues to grab that moisture. That Pineapple Express type setup continues through 1.8 with additional areas of low pressure. You can almost see the indentations in the jet there lined up. So this is a more of a long-term pattern now. I mean, looking to 1.8, 1.9 um, at this point uh, still set up that far down the road. All right, uh, so also on the blog, I did a uh, look at Moab and the Grand Canyon at a request for this January 1 through 7. Reason being is with this atmospheric river setup, it does look unsettled across a lot of the West with higher than normal precip chances for this time of the year, even lower down um, at lower elevations. So Moab, Grand Canyon, you can see they both start off with very high chances for, for rain and snow, um, probably through 1-3, especially at the Grand Canyon. And there's probably going to be snow accumulation and cold highs, 20s and 30s. Then once we get into 1-4, 1-5, 1-6, 1-7, 1 the chances start to dry up a little bit. And that's another reflection of what I was talking about at the top of this, with that second period trending a little bit weaker for the interior. Um, the, the snowfall and the rain amounts just trending a little bit weaker with the, uh, although it does look like California will get hit, but the storms kind of go a little bit more ragged as they hit uh, Utah and um, the interior. So let's look at forecast timing. This is the forecast radar and satellite. So there's Saturday at 6 a.m. There's Sunday at 6 a.m., 1-1. One, one. Uh, here is Monday at 6 uh, a.m., uh, there's Tuesday. Look how ragged that looks coming in on 1-3. There's not a lot with it. It just kind of brushes the Wasatch. Now, 1-4 is right there. Now, I know that looks impressive on 1-4 hitting California, but again, it kind of goes ragged as it moves in, in into the interior, into Utah. It kind of falls apart a little bit. And so, as a result, I've taken down some of the totals. So, let's go into those. Uh, for the longer term here. So here's 1230 through 1-1. One, one. Still looking at some nice totals. This is a big period here for Utah. The Wasatch potentially up to three feet of snow there in Little Cottonwood Canyon. Uh, probably two feet in, uh, up towards Park City and the canyons. But in Colorado, uh, the big numbers are across the western slope from Steamboat to Snowmass to Crested Butte down into the San Juans. Um, and another foot up there in the Tetons. So again, that's 1230 through 1 1. So here's period two. This is 1 2 through 1 8. The numbers in California are very big 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 inches. But look at the interior. Yesterday I was thinking potentially two feet or more in the Wasatch. Today we're down to about a foot for that period. About a foot up in the Tetons, about a foot at Sun Valley. In Colorado, another maybe one to two feet. Um, so still looking pretty darn good in Colorado, but the numbers in Utah have definitely come down um, just as a result of the way these storms appear to track into the interior and weaken a little bit. So that's one, two through one, eight. Um, I want to show you my timing for this. It's also on the blog if you want to look at this. I looked at period grand totals. So Alta through basically from today through 1845 inches. It's still a lot of snow. Um, California's got another 60, 80, 90 inches maybe. Jackson Hole's got 
uh, two to three feet additional, another two feet at Aspen Snowmass. Crest Buttes looking at potentially three feet, as well as Wolf Creek Steamboat's got another two to three feet coming. Uh, my forecast snow timeline for the Wasatch. The big snows come later today. Um, the eight, the 31st is going to be very big. Big powder day on the 31st and the 1st. And then it's kind of a slow trickle on 2, 3, 4, 5. Now, 5 and 6 are 4 inches each. Not bad, right? Um, but it was looking bigger than that yesterday. And then we're kind of down to zeros on 7, 8. Um, I don't know what will happen on the 9th. But, so take a look at that on the blog. And if you want to, please subscribe. Um, put your email address, subscribe. You'll get notified. You'll get a confirmation every time there's an update on one of these blogs. Let me show you. Uh, what the Northeast looks like all of today through the through the eighth. There's just not a lot here. The pattern is so active out to the west, there just isn't a lot left over for the Northeast. An inch or two through the eighth, and that's probably going to do it. All right, guys, thank you for tuning in here. Always appreciate it. Take care.